Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina Marie Agderian. I am the author of The Letters in the Old House, available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle. I will have a link to purchase the book in the description below. So today is another episode of Book Talk where I talk about a book that I recently read, what I liked, what I didn't like about it, to help you decide if you would like to read this book. So today we are talking about The House in the Pines by Ana Reyes, and it's actually a Reese's book club pick. I know some people really love Reese's book club picks and some people don't. I've read a lot on Goodreads of people saying that she kind of misses the mark. Most of the books that I've read from the Reese's book club have been um, have been pretty good. I mean, there are a few misses. You're not going to win them all. But um, this one, I would give a four out of five. It is a thriller, um, kind of a psychological thriller in a, in, in a sense. Um, basically what the book is about, it's a young woman in her 20s and her name is Maya. And she lost her best friend the summer before really she was about to go off to college. And she loses her and she literally drops dead. The best friend drops dead. So then we flash forward seven years and she sees a video on YouTube of the same man she was dating-ish at the time of her best friend dropping dead. And it's a video of him with another woman also dropping dead randomly. And you also learn that her ex-boyfriend, we'll call him a boyfriend, they're kind of in a relationship, kind of not, um, was also with her best friend at the time of her death. So it brings on a lot of feelings, a lot of resurgence, resurgence of trauma. Um, and she goes back to her hometown to try to figure out what exactly happened to her best friend. This whole thing was a total mind F um, and it in the best way. It was so good and it kept me turning the pages and I was just so invested in this story. Um, the other part of this too is that she, the main character Maya is withdrawing from clonopin, which is a benzo um, and she's having a really hard time withdrawing from it and she's not sleeping properly. So it, it adds to her feeling of going crazy a little bit. So I would recommend this if you do enjoy thrillers. It is not a gory thriller. It is, as I said earlier, more or less of a psychological thriller. And it really makes you question if the narrator is reliable, if she's not reliable. And that's really what kept me kind of going through this is, okay, is she just imagining this? How is this guy allegedly killing two women without even touching them where they just drop dead? So it was extremely interesting. The reason I didn't give it five stars was because I did feel like there was a subplot in this book that was completely unnecessary and really didn't add a whole lot of value to the story. I do understand why the author included it. It just kind of detracted from and distracted from the actual book and the actual story itself, the main plot. So The House in the Pines by Ana Reyes, great psychological thriller if you're looking for something that's going to keep you on your toes but isn't gory. Let me know what you think of this book, if you've read it or if you plan on reading it. And as always, guys, happy reading.